Happy 4th of July. It's Blagita. Or Blagita. Or Blagica. Joking. Um, happy 4th of July. It is 10.30. And today's Gale's Guide tip comes to you on the 4th of July. And you might notice behind me, that is the south side of Chicago. I'm in the south loop. And the fireworks are dying down now. My fiancé and his mom were just over watching from the balcony. But you may still see in the reflection. See? Yep, they're going off. How festive of a podcast we have today. Okay, today's podcast, simple and to the point. Common sense and my review on my new Timbuktu laptop gear. Common sense. I just got back from the White Sox game. Horrible. It was just... They kind of came back in the bottom of the ninth with three hits or three runs, but we left early to check the, the fireworks out on my balcony, but that didn't work out. Well, actually it worked out. We saw the fireworks from talking about the game. But let's talk about common sense. Ladies, ladies, ladies. I'm a big, big fan of legs, skirts. If you have the gams, you have the legs, show them off. But you know what? If you're going to a baseball game and your skirt is this little, not little, but little, how in the world are you going to sit down comfortably in your seat? Those are plastic seats. And the day like today when it's hot, the plastic's gonna stick to the backs of your legs. In addition to that, you don't have a lot of material to pull down, to cover yourself, to sit down. You look cute, but just think about what you wear when you go to a baseball game. In addition to the short, short, little skirt. Ladies, what are you doing with heels at a baseball game? Now, don't get me wrong, I like looking cute wherever I go if I can help it. But a baseball game, people, What's up with these three inch heels that I saw today? I kid you not, girl in section 340, I think. Your heels were so tall, you look gorgeous, but did you realize the incline of the steps going up and up and up and up and going down to get your, you know, half ounce, whatever you wanna drink? It makes no sense. So ladies, if you go to a sporting event, depending on the event, dress for it. If you go to a hockey rink, you know, put something on. If you go to a baseball game and it's warm outside, don't put on some high heels like a hoochie mama going to watch some games. If you want to go to a club, wear it someplace else. Okay, that's my common sense tip. In addition to green tea. That's what I'm drinking now because as you notice, you see this? I have an earache. My ear hurts. So I'm doing the old village method of putting oil in the cotton ball and stuffing in my ear, thanks to my baba. Okay, let's get into the techie geek part of who I am. Lately, I've been looking for the best solutions to carry my PowerBook. I talk to you all through this iMac, but I have a 12 inch PowerBook and I have two solutions for you. Well, that's four, two. So this is my in case 12 inch, well 13 inch bag accommodates a 12 inch PowerBook or 13 inch MacBook. What's great about this puppy is I could just slip it in any purse that I have and voila, out pops the laptop. I'm sure you've seen this before, but I wanted to give you some first-hand perspective in that. It's good because you can put it in a different purse, um, not a clunky work bag because you want to save space. So option number one if you're on the road with your laptop. Option numero dos. Timbuk2 has a phenomenal return policy, and I had one of their other bags, and it was falling apart because I used it so much. It had some rubber on the, the what's this called? Handle. This is called a handle. But anyway, it was falling off, and they have a phenomenal exchange policy, and this is their new bag called the Soho. Can you see that? The Soho. What I love about it is these handles are long enough so I can do one of these. Or I can hold it like this, like a diva. But what's also neat, it looks like there's a spirit going across my computer screen. The opening. See that? You could also put your laptop in there. And it's got storage. I love my storage. See? Don't be one of those girls walking down Michigan Avenue with 13 bags. Your little itty bitty, you know, going out purse, and then you have your work bag and your laptop bag, it's too much. Simple and efficient. If you can, and you, if you've got a laptop or some sort, one bag. And don't bring the whole house with you. If you need another purse for your toiletries and whatnot, fine. But don't, you know, it's a dead giveaway if you've got like a work bag and then your 
going to the James Hotel bar hoochie my bag at the same time. It doesn't match. And do you really want to have your laptop with you when you're going out to a club or bar? No. This is also an incentive for you to pack everything in one bag so when you go leave work you want to go home and change bags versus having your laptop out. This incentivizes you to go home, drop off the laptop, and get a cute bag. So those are my Gale Sky tips today. Sorry I'm a little all over the place. This earache is driving me bonkers. But I had to tell you about the girls with the short little skirts at the baseball game sticking to their seats and the other girls with the two three inch heels trotting around with their bags and the Miller Lite. Nah, doesn't work. No offense to Cubby fans at all, but this ain't Wrigley Field. If you go to a White Sox game, you just don't do that. Okay, talk to you guys later. Have a happy 4th of July. And um, I'm late for Canada Day to our neighbors up north. Oh, Canada, I forgot the rest of the song, but the Detroit Maple Leafs will always be better than I'm sorry, did I say maple leaves? <gasps> I mean Detroit Red Wings. I hope I didn't say that. I have to rewind and check the tape. Okay, bye.